Let's have a look at how we can check how much mobile and Wi-Fi data you're looking at. We do this through settings and it's nice and handy because it comes to us right near the top of settings under data usage. If we click on to data usage it will take us to the various um, time sequences that we've set up as a cycle um, of, and I've set this up for a month which it tends to be the way that we get charged on our phones. So let's look at a previous month's cycle. It's a few months there. And first of all, I'm looking at how much mobile data I used in that month. And that mobile data turned out to be about 43 megabytes, which is pretty okay, considering I've got 500, so I'm very safe. And in Wi-Fi, there's always a lot more. There's 262 megabytes used on Wi-Fi, which of course we don't worry about Wi-Fi. Um, now, because you don't worry because you've got plenty of it. Now, let's we can drill down to this. So let's have a look at one of the apps here, which is chewed up a lot, 86.14 megabytes, Google Play Store, and we'll see a brown section and a grey section. What does this mean? What it means is that there's foreground activity in which I've been playing around in Play Store, finding new apps, and there's background, that's work that goes on without me knowing about it fundamentally. Now that's expected with Play Store because you're getting updates and you might have um, authorized those updates to occur automatically, as I have. So I expect that there's going to be some 33 megabytes that come down like that. Let's go over to the mobile and we'll have a look at that there. And let's go back to our view that we're looking at. And we've got a number of apps down here that have been used um, and go back to having a look at all of the apps so if we cruise down here until we get to Chrome so now this is have I been using Chrome much well 4.71 megabytes in mobile so it's not much but just to click through and have a look at the breakdown between foreground and background and you'll see that very little background work and this is a good sign because any time that Chrome is being used fundamentally foreground is when I have chosen to use it. So you can play around and have a look at your uh, data usage through the settings, there's quite a bit of exploration there and well worth becoming familiar with just how that all works.